If one titrates 25 milliliters of 0.1 molar acetic acid with 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide, what will be the pH at equivalence point? So first, we must find the volume of sodium hydroxide needed to reach equivalence point. So first, we need to find the moles of acetic acid which would be the volume multiplied by the concentration which is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third moles. To find the volume of sodium hydroxide needed we must Divide that number by 0 0.050 molar, which is the concentration of sodium hydroxide. This will give us the volume, which is that 50 milliliters. Here there are two sig figs, so two sig figs. And um, the equation that the neutralization equation that is occurring in this titration is the following. This goes to completion. Since the K is equal to KA over KW, which is um, KA, a number smaller than KW, uh, bigger than KW, is divided by 10 to the negative 14th, which will be bigger than 1. And if the same number of moles react, there will be the same number of moles of acetate ions produced, which is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third moles, which we have to make a new equation to show the reaction that happens and creates the pH. So, H3O2 minus. This is what happens after all the ac acetic acid is neutralized. So we need to make an ice box to find the concentration of OH minus, which will give us the POH and the pH. We know that we start with 2.5 times 10 to the negative third moles of acetate ions, but we need to divide that by the volume, which is volume of sodium hydroxide, which is 50 milliliters, plus the volume of acetic acid, which is 25 milliliters, and that's equal to 2.5 times 10 to the negative third moles over um, 0 0.075 liters, which gives us a concentration of 0 0.033 molar. So we plug that into the ice box. We start with none of those and the coefficient for every product and reactant is 1, so it's just minus x here. We add x on each side over here. <coughs> and 
and in the end, it leads to that minus x. Here it's just x and x, and this is really just going to be equal to 0 0.033 because x is going to be a small number, and when we do sig figs, it's not going to change this number. So the KB for the equation, I'm going to start on the new piece of paper. The KB for this equation is um, 5.8 times 10 to the negative 10th. We know that Kb is equal to concentration of H2, HC2, of acetic acid times the concentration of hydroxide over concentration of acetate ions. which if we plug in the concentrations from the ice box is going to be x squared over 0 0.033 which is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the negative 10 is equal to 4.4 times 10 to the negative 6 molar therefore OH hydroxide concentration is equal to 4.4 times 10 to the negative 6 molar in order to find pOH, we need to do the negative log of that concentration, which yields um, 5.36. This is the pOH is equal to 8.64.